In this video, we will show you how to automate the build of Google Kubernetes Engine and the deployment of several baseline policies using Anthos Config Management or ACM. Aurora's demo will showcase how you can benefit from ACM when preparing a new Kubernetes platform to a desired state as a multi-tenant cluster. Let's get into the demo. A multi-tenant cluster is shared by multiple users and or workloads, which are referred to as tenants. Tenant isolation is required to minimize the damage that a compromised or malicious tenant can do to the cluster. Policies can be used to enforce tenant isolation. Attempting to ensure policy compliance manually would be complex. Automating policy enforcement ensures consistency and lowers development latency through immediate feedback. In this demo, we will use Open Policy Agent to automate policy enforcement. There are three main steps for this automated workflow. First, Terraform creates a Google Kubernetes Engine cluster and a GitHub repository, which contains the baseline policies configuration. Second, ACM is deployed to the cluster and is configured to use the GitHub repository as the desired state of the cluster. Lastly, ACM pulls the configuration from GitHub repository and pushes them to the cluster. Let's see this workflow in motion. First, make sure you're logged into Google Cloud and GitHub token is configured. Initiate the workflow by running Terraform Apply. Now the cluster is ready and configured. Add the context to the local machine so that we can access the cluster. Now, let's see the policies in action. First, try to create a random namespace. This is not allowed. In the multi-tenant cluster, tenants or namespaces should have clear definitions with specific information, such as owners and environments. This information can be embedded as namespace labels. Those labels are required when you are creating a new namespace. Now let's deploy a namespace for development environment with proper labels. Now let's try to deploy a pod with privileged mode enabled. This is forbidden. In the multi-tenant cluster, the isolation boundaries between tenant workloads and the cluster need to be hardened. This policy would minimize the damage that a compromised pod can do to the cluster. Now let's deploy a new production namespace and deploy an image from Docker Hub. This is not allowed. To protect your multi-tenant cluster, you could provide a list of trusted container registries and forbid the others. This helps to protect the cluster from malicious container images from random registries. There are a few other policies that help us to protect the multi-tenant cluster. Apart from the easiness of configuring a cluster using ACM, another big advantage of using ACM is that ACM can prevent configuration drift with continuous monitoring of your cluster state. For example, Let's try to delete one of the policies. Within seconds, ACM is able to detect the configuration drift and reapply the manually deleted policy to the cluster so that the desired state of the cluster is achieved. I hope this video was helpful in understanding the capabilities of Anthos configuration management and policy management for multi-tenants. Being able to define and enforce based policies rapidly provides security, agility, and scalability for cluster management. Make sure to like and subscribe for more demos from our team here at Arctic. Take the next step.